Some disturbing, and we warn you of that police video. A woman suspected of drunk driving ends up on the floor of a police station. How did she get there? The incident was caught on tape, but David Muir is back here now because it seems that a key portion of the tape is missing. David? Yeah, it's a classic case of he said, she said, Diane. But as you mentioned, it all comes down to what's on the tape, or more importantly, what's not there. And we want to warn you this morning that the video is really quite tough to watch. Angela Garbarino, seen here, was arrested last November on suspicion of DWI by Shreveport, Louisiana police. On the tape, you can hear her repeated demands to make a phone call. I have a right to call somebody right now, and I know that. Is this on the record? Yes, ma'am. It's good. Wiley Willis, the arresting officer, has been trying to read her her rights, but he runs out of patience, and things turn ugly. What happens after that is a mystery. You understand, man? Yeah, I understand. Because as you can see, the officer turns off the camera. When the recording resumes, Garbarino is lying in a pool of her own blood. Another officer takes a look before she's taken away on a stretcher. Garbarino suffered two black eyes and cuts to her face, along with two broken teeth and bruises. She says the officer beat her up. Willis was fired, but a statement from his attorney says he turned off the tape, quote, in accordance with normal practice, and added the suspect tried to leave the room. In the process of stopping her, she fell and injured herself. Experts who reviewed the footage say at the very least the officer should have called for female backup. I think you have a situation here where the arrested person is refusing to cooperate and the police officer apparently overreacting. And you can see this morning why so many people are reacting to this. Police decided not to file criminal charges against the officer, saying no one knows for sure what happened because the tape was off. Garbarino faces trial and charges of DWI, hit and run, driving and reckless driving, and she denies those charges. Meantime, the officer is appealing his firing. A Shreveport police spokesman says there's no specific law, but typically suspects in Shreveport get processed, booked, and then they get to make a phone call. But I when he says he turned off the tape in accordance with common practice or with practice, what does that mean? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. And apparently, according to police policy in that jurisdiction, if they do not agree to take a sobriety test and get booked, then they're allowed to turn off the tape, which makes you wonder, is it time to revisit the policy? Very strange. Okay, thanks, Dave. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to abcnews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.